Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome back to my channel Academic Tuber. Today we are going to discuss chapter 8 from grade 9 science that is machines. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please uh, subscribe this channel and for more updates hit the bell icon. If you want more videos related to this, please like and do share these videos uh, among your friend and don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section. Simple machines. We use different devices in our daily life to perform various types of work. Different machines and instruments are frequently used to make our work easier, faster and convenient. For example, we use scissors to cut papers, pilots during electric work, etc. Those devices which are simple in structure and makes our work easier and faster are called simple machines. Nail cutter, broom, scissor, fire tongue, beam balance, crowbar, wheelbarrow, etc. are some of the examples of simple machines. Advantage of simple machines Simple machines multiply force, that is, a bigger load is lifted by applying a smaller effort. It transfers force from one point to another. It accelerates the rate of doing work. A simple machine changes the direction of the force applied. Now we are going to discuss some of the terms related to machine. First one, effort. The force applied to raise the load is called effort, and its SI unit is Newton. Load. The, fo the force which is to be overcome by effort is called load. Its SI unit is Newton as well. Effort distance. The distance traveled by load. The distance traveled by effort. While moving the load is called effort distance and its SI unit is meter. Load distance. The distance traveled by load is called load distance, its SI unit is meter. Mechanical advantage MA. The ratio of load to effort is called mechanical advantage and it has no unit because it is the ratio of same physical quantities that is forces. Mathematically, MA mechanical advantage equals to load by effort. Mechanical advantage of a machine is for what does it mean? Mechanical advantage of machine is for it means that the machine can lift a load four times heavier than the applied effort. Velocity ratio VR. The ratio of effort distance to the load distance is called velocity ratio and it also has no unit because it is the ratio of same physical quantities. Mathematically, velocity ratio VR equals to effort distance ED by load distance ELD. Velocity ratio of simple machine is 3. What does it mean? It means that the effort has to move 3 times more distance than load. Input work. The work done in a machine is called input work and it is a product of effort and effort distance. Mathematically, input work WI equals to effort E into effort distance ED. Output work. The work done by a machine is called output work and it is the product of load and load distance. Mathematically, output work WO equals to load L into load distance LD. Efficiency. The ratio of output work to input work expressed in percentage is called efficiency. It is also defined as the percentage ratio of mechanical advantage and velocity ratio. Mathematical efficiency eta equals to output work by input work into 100% or efficiency eta equals to MA by VR into 100%. Relation between MA, VR and efficiency. Efficiency equals to output work by input work into 100%. So we know the formula of output work. The formula of output work is L into LD whereas the formula of input work is E into ET. So if we arrange this formula, we will get efficiency equals to MA by VR into 100%. Mechanical advantage is always less than velocity ratio due to friction. So the efficiency of machine is never 100% or more. Principle of simple machine. It is said that if a machine is perfect, work done it machine is equals to the work done by machine. That is input work equals to output work. Mathematically, work done in machine equals to work done by machine, that is, input work equals to output work. Real machine. The machine in which the output work is less than input work is called real machine. Oh, this machine have efficiency less than 100%. Perfect machine. 
द मेसिन इन विच आउटपुट वर्क इज इक्वल टू इनपुट वर्क इज कॉल परफेक्ट मेसिन एंड दिस मेसिन हैव इफिशेंसी हंड्रेड परसेंट इन प्रैक्टिस एंड रियलिटी नो मेसिन इज परफेक्ट इफेक्ट्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन ऑन एम ए वी आर एंड इफिशेंसी एम ए डिग्रीज इज वन फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स इंक्रीज इज वाई एम ए डिग्रीज इज वन फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स इंक्रीज इज बिकॉज लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ इफोर्ट इज वेस्टेड ड्यू टू द प्रिशेंस ऑफ फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स वी आर इज नॉट अफेक्टेड बाई फ्रिक्शन वाई वी आर इज नॉट अफेक्टेड बाई फ्रिक्शन बिकॉज इट इज द रेशियो ऑफ डिस्टेंस एम ए इज ऑलवेज लेस दैन बी आर वाई बिकॉज एम ए इज अफेक्टेड बाई फ्रिक्शन वेर एज बी आर इज नॉट अफेक्टेड बाई फ्रिक्शन नो मेसिन हैव हंड्रेड परसेंट इफिशियंसी वाई और इफिशियंसी ऑफ मेसिन इज ऑलवेज लेस दैन हंड्रेड परसेंट वाई और इट इज इम्पॉसिबल टू गेट अ परफेक्ट मेसिन इन प्रैक्टिकल लाइफ वाई so we got same answer for this question because some of input energy is wasted in the form of heat energy while overcoming the friction the efficiency of machine is 80% what does it mean it means that 20% of input energy is wasted in the form of heat energy while overcoming the friction to increase yma and efficiency of a uh, machine we have to reduce friction we can reduce friction by following ways by using lubricants like oil grease etc by using ball bearings wheel and rollers by making the sliding surface smooth and by rolling instead of sliding types of simple machine on the basis of its structure and function simple machines are divided into six types lever pulley wheel and axle inclined crane issue and wedge pulley Pulley is a circular disc having groove on its circumference over which rope can move. Uses of pulley: It is used to draw water from well. It is used in elevators, lifts. It is used for lifting heavy loads in crane. It is used in flag. It stands for hustling the flags. A pulley can be classified into three types: single fixed pulley, single movable pulley, and compound pulley. Single fixed pulley. The pulley which does not move up and down but rotates at a fixed support is called single fixed pulley. It has to change the direction of force applied. For a single fixed pulley, load distance equals to effort distance that is load equals to effort. Therefore, Ym equals to 1 since load is equals to effort, Br equals to 1 since load distance is equals to effort distance and efficiency it would be 100% since Ym equals to Br. Single movable pulley. A pulley which moves up and down along with load is called single movable pulley. It makes our work easier by magnifying the effort, but do not change the direction of the force applied. For single movable pulley, load equals to two into effort. That is, Ym equals to L by E equals to two E by E. So we will get Ym as a two. Similarly, load distance equals to half effort distance. That is, effort distance equals to two into load distance. Therefore, we will get Br also two. And uh, since Ym and Br are equal efficiency, it would be equals to hundred percent. Although the efficiency calculated for a single movable pulley and fixed pulley is hundred percent, it is less than hundred percent due to the friction of the pulley. Difference between single fixed pulley and single movable pulley. Single fixed pulley. It is a fixed. It is fixed to a rigid support and it does not move along with load. Whereas single movable pulley, it moves up and down along with load. Single fixed pulley, it cannot multiply uh, applied force. Whereas single movable pulley, it multiplies the effort applied. Single fixed pulley, it changes the direction of force applied to a more convenient direction. Whereas the single movable pulley does not change the direction of force applied. In single fixed pulley, the va the value of Ma and Br is always one. Whereas in single movable pulley, the value of Ma and Br is two. Combined pulley. A pulley which consists of combination of two or more pulleys is called combined pulley. A combined pulley is also called compound pulley or block and tackle system. In case of a compound pulley, Br equals to number of rope segments supporting the load, 
or we can say BR equals to number of pulley used in pulley system. So here is one uh, numerical related with pulley. A system of three pulleys require 100 Newton force to lift a load of 200 Newton. What is the efficiency of pulley? Solution here given. So load uh, L it is given 200 Newton. Effort it is given 100. Number of pulley equals to 3 and we know that in the block and tackle or combined and pulley the BR is equals to the number of pulleys used in the pulley system. Efficiency we have to calculate. Now we know that M A equals to L by E equals to 200 by 100 equals to 2. BR equals to number of pulley in pulley system which is equals to 3. And we know the formula efficiency equals to M A by BR into 100%. By solving this, we will get 66.66%. Hence, the efficiency of pulley system is 66.66%. Will and axle. It is a type of simple machine which consists of two coaxial cylinders of different radii. The larger cylinder or wheel is fixed rigidly with the small wheel called axis in such a way that both the wheels explain about the same axis door knobs wheel of vehicles is sharing wheel of a vehicle issue driver wind glasses sieving machine etc are some of the example of wheel and axle for wheel and axle ma equals to load by effort in one complete rotation of wheel and axle the distance traveled by effort ed equals to circumference of wheel that is effort distance equals to 2 pi capital r Similarly, the distance traveled by load LD equals to circumference of axle that is LD equals to 2 pi small r where capital R and small r are the radius of wheel and axle respectively. BR equals to ED by LD that is BR equals to capital R by small r or BR equals to capital D by small d where capital D and small d are the diameter of wheel and axle respectively. So here is one numerical uh, related with uh, wheel and axle. In wheel and axle, the radius of wheel is 24 cm and that of axle is 5 cm. If a load of 1200 Newton is overcome by using an effort of 300 Newton on it, calculate MABR and efficiency of the machine. Solution here given. So radius of wheel, capital R, it is given 24 cm. So we have to change the centimeter into meter. That's why we are dividing 24 by 100. So as a result, we will get 0.24 meter. Similarly, radius of axle is small r equals to 5 centimeter. Here, uh, here also we are converting centimeter into meter by dividing with uh, 100. So we will get 0.05 meter. Load it is given in question 1200 newton and effort it is also given in question 300 newton. So MA we have to find out, BR also we have to find out and efficiency we, are, we have to find out. So we know that MA equals to load by effort, equals to 1200 by 300, so we will get 4. And BR, we know the formula, BR equals to capital R by small r, which is equals to 0 0.24 by 0 0.05, equals to 4.8. And similarly efficiency, efficiency equals to MA by BR into 100%. That is 4 by 4.8 into 100 percent equals to 83.33 percent. Hence, MA of wheel and axle is 4, BR is 4.8, and efficiency is 83.33 percent. Wheel and axle is a continuous lever Y. When load is connected to axle and effort is on the wheel, it acts as a first class lever with fulcrum in the middle. The ordinary lever can be turned by an effort using an angle less than 90% but with an axle can even turn 360 degree continuously. So it is called continuous lever. Inclined plane. It is a type of simple machine which consists of slanted surface over which load can be pulled or pushed. Winding rows on hills, ladder, spiral, staircase, wooden plank used for load, loading goods in a truck etc. are some of the examples of inclined plane. In an inclined plane, the distance traveled by effort ED equals to L, the distance traveled by load LD equals to H, it can be uh, shown in figure as well. 
where L and H are the length and height of inclined plane respectively. Similarly, the formula to calculate EMA equals to load by effort and the formula to calculate BR equals to ED by LD which is equals to L by H. If theta is the angle made by inclined plane with the horizontal surface, then sin theta equals to L, H by L or sin theta equals to 1 by L by H or sin theta equals to 1 by BR since we know that BR equals to L by H and BR equals to 1 by sin theta equals to 1 by cos theta so, sorry BR equals to 1 by sin theta which is equals to cos theta note so in an inclined plane length of inclined plane is always greater than its its height An inclined plane of length 20 meter is used to lift a load of 1800 newton up to height of 5 meter by applying the force of 600 newton. Calculate MA, BR and efficiency. Solution here given. So load it is given 1800 newton in question. Effort it is uh, effort E it is given 600 newton. Length of inclined plane is small L it is given 20 meter and height of inclined plane E H it is given 5 meter. So MA we have to calculate BR and efficiency we are going to calculate. So we know that MA, the formula to calculate MA is load by effort, which is equals to 1800 by 600 equals to 3. Similarly, the formula to calculate VR equals to L by H equals to 20 by 5 equals to 4. And the formula to calculate efficiency equals to MA by VR into 100% equals to 3 by 4 into 100% equals to 75%. NCM of ink and brain is 3, BR is 4, and efficiency is 75%. Issue It is a simple machine having thread around cylinder. The distance between the adjacent thread of issue is called pitch. In other words, the distance moved by issue in one, rota one complete rotation on being driven into the wood is called pitch. In a issue, velocity ratio equals to distance traveled by effort by distance traveled by load which is equal to circumference of circle mode by arm of screw driver divided by pitch of the screw. Therefore, BR equals to 2 pi capital R by P. Jack screw, screw nail, driller, etc. are some of the examples of screw. A jack screw is used to lift the vehicles while changing their wheels. The length of the lever in a screw jack is 6 cm and its thread is 0.25 cm far from each other. And the vehicles are having a load of 600 Newton is lifted by 12 by 40 Newton effort by using it. Calculate the MABR and efficiency of jack screw. Solution here given. So length of lever capital R it is given 6 cm. So while converting cm into 6 cm into meter we get uh, 6 by 100 equals to 0.06 meter. Pitch of screw P it is given 0.25 cm which is equal to 0.0025 meter. Similarly, load it is given in question 600 Newton, effort it is given 40 Newton. So, MA, VR and efficiency we are going to calculate here. We know that the formula to calculate MA equals to load by effort equals to 600 by 40 which is equals to 15. BR equals to 2 pi R by P which is equals to 2 into 22 into 0.06 divided by 7 into 0.0025 which is equals to 150.86. And efficiency, we know the formula to calculate efficiency. Efficiency equals to MA by VR into 100%. That is 15 by 150.86 into 100 equals to 9.94%. Hence, MA of Jack is 15, BR equals to 150.86 and efficiency is 9.94. Wage. It is a type of simple machine having one in sharp and another in blunt. And it is also called double inclined plane. Example. Uh, axe, knife, kukuri, nail, sickle, needle, etc. In waves, the distance traveled by load LD equals to thickness of waves T. The distance traveled by E port ED equals to length of waves L. Therefore, BR equals to ED by LD equals to L by T. And EMA equals to friction developed on the surface of waves W by E4 top light upon waves E. The given diagram shows a waves and E4 of 2000, 2000 Newton is applied on it and it raises a load of 3000 Newton. Calculate MA, BR, and efficiency of machine. Solution here given length of 
wedge yeah it is given 20 centimeter while converting 20 centimeter into meter we will get 0.2 meter radius of wedge capital r equals to 5 centimeter equals to 0.05 meter thickness of wedge t equals to 2 into r equals to 2 into 0.05 equals to 0.1 meter load it is given to uh, uh, 3000 newton in question and effort it is given 2000 newton so yame br and efficiency we are going to calculate here in the question so we know the formula to calculate yame yame equals to l by e equals to 3000 by 2000 which is equals to 1.5 and formula to calculate br is small l by t which is equals to 0 0.2 by 0 0.1 equals to 2 and the formula to calculate efficiency equals to yame by vr into 100 percent which is equals to 1.5 by 2 into 100 percent which is equals to 75 percent complex or compound machine a machine which is made by combination of two or more simple machine is called complex machine example uh, car jack uh, bicycle crane sewing machine etc Winding rows are made on hills Y. Winding rows are made on hills because winding rows are the example of inclined plane having the longer length. Longer the length of inclined plane, the easier to do the work and vice versa. So the vehicles can move easily on winding rows. Hence, winding rows are made on hills. It is easier to lift the same load by using a uh, three pulley system than by using two pulley system. Why? In two pulley system, the weight is divided between the two points only. In three pulley system, the weight is divided into three per different parts that will divide the friction, making it uh, easy to pull. Hence, it is easier to lift the same load by using three pulley system than by using two pulley system. By this we have completed most of this unit machine. I hope this video was useful to you. If you like this video, please share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any query, drop the comments in the comment section. See you on the next video. Thank you.